Today I'm going to be making a no noodle zucchini lasagna. So basically there's still meat in it, there's still ground beef in it, but the noodles instead are going to be, instead of your typical uh, noodles, it's going to be, the noodles will be made with zucchini. So here is everything you are going to need. So you are going to need some baby spinach, the recipe calls for tomato paste and tomato sauce, but I didn't have that, so I'm just going to be using my spaghetti sauce. Some cottage cheese or ricotta cheese, some zucchini, green, uh, green pepper, mozzarella cheese, mushrooms, uh, red wine. It does call for fresh oregano and parsley, I believe, but I only had, I didn't have fresh, so I'm going to be using the dried black pepper, parmesan cheese, salt, uh, one egg, some fresh basil that I actually have in my garden, grass-fed ground beef, and an onion. I believe that that's all the recipe calls for. And then you want to grease a 13 by nine inch casserole dish. Okay, so the recipe says to preheat the oven for 325 degrees. So we'll do that. It says grease a deep nine by 13 casserole dish, which I already did that. I just greased it with some organic avocado oil. I've done a couple zucchini so far, so it's pretty easy. You just like drag this, the zucchini across and it makes the noodles for you. So I'm just doing that. Ow! Oh, that's not good. I just sliced my finger. Well, I guess I'll put a band-aid on. Okay guys, so I just sliced my finger. I knew that was coming. So it comes with this thing that apparently you're supposed to push the zucchini through it like that. So you're not actually touching the, or not touching, but getting close to the blade. And I was being very careful. And then I just completely cut myself, so. I have a little band-aid on. <laughs> All right, so we're going to finish slicing the zucchini and then we'll move on to the next step. Okay guys, so earlier I turned on the oven, but I actually turned it off right after I turned it on because I realized it's going to take me a while to prep for this veggie lasagna, so I turned it off because I don't want to be wasting the gas. We finished cutting up the zucchini, so those are draining in the colander. So it says uh, lightly, sprinkle lightly with salt and then let it drain. So I'll sprinkle it with salt and then uh, it looks like we have to prepare the meat sauce. So we'll do that next. Okay guys, so the next step just says to prepare the meat sauce, cook and stir ground beef and black pepper in a large skillet over medium heat for five minutes. Um, it's one and a half teaspoons of pepper, but I just kind of eyeballed it and threw that on there. Okay guys, so the ground beef is coming along and it's, uh, the next step says to put in one green pepper and one onion. So I'm going to add that. And then we'll mix that. So we'll let that cook until the meat is brown. And then the next step says to mix in one cup tomato paste and one can tomato sauce. All I have is the, my uh, spaghetti sauce. I think I'll do two can or two cups of this. I wanted to mention, I just noticed this recipe did not call for mushrooms, but I love mushrooms. And for some reason I thought they should be in here. So I did add mushrooms after about um, 10 minutes after the beef and the onions and green peppers were cooking. So I just put those in. Also, I noticed that the recipe calls for ricotta cheese and one egg but I have cottage cheese, so I don't think I actually need the egg. So I'm going to take out the egg and put that back. Um, but if you do use uh, the ricotta cheese, then you need the ricotta cheese and the egg. So I just added the two cups of tomato sauce, or I'm sorry, spaghetti sauce. So I just added the wine, the basil, and the oregano. Um, it says to add hot water if too thick, but I think this is okay. And to bring to a boil, reduce heat and simmer sauce for about 20 minutes. So it's about 103 now. So we'll do, we'll set the timer for about 20 minutes. 
And meanwhile, it says to make the ricotta part. So I'm gonna do that, but with my cottage cheese. So we'll take half of the meat sauce. And I already greased this pan, so. I'll just mix that around. Okay, and then after that, it says we layer half of the zucchini slices. Okay, so now we do half of the ricotta mixture, it says. bit of this all over. I, I don't know how you guys feel about this, but I always feel like I need to make a double recipe for the ricotta because I always feel like there isn't enough. I kind of feel like that with this recipe also. Okay, so I layered half of that, and then on top of that, it says to put on the spinach. So I'll put on some spinach here. And then after the spinach, it says follow by the mushrooms, but as you guys know, I didn't follow directions and I already mixed the mushrooms into the recipe, so we don't have to do that. And then it says uh, mozzarella to put on mozzarella cheese. So I'm just gonna add pats of the mozzarella cheese because I was lazy with cutting it. So half the mozzarella cheese, and then we repeat by adding the remaining meat sauce. So we'll do that. Put the remaining sauce on top. Okay. All right, so we'll spread that around as evenly as possible. It's kind of hard to do. You want to try to get all the different flavors on all the different bites once it's cut, you know? So, you know, I'm going to go all the way to the edges because I want... The edges, I feel, are the parts that don't really get all of the ingredients. So I try to take special care and go to the edges when I make things. Even like peanut butter and jelly, I feel like the edges of the thread always get the bat or the short end of the stick. Okay, so that's good. And so now we're going to do the zucchini slices again on top. I think I'm actually going to do them the opposite way because I don't think it'll be difficult to cut because the zucchini is going to be so um, pliable, I guess you would say, once it's cooked. So I'm going to do it the opposite direction, just so every little piece gets some zucchini. Put on a couple more slices here. Okay, so the zucchini's on, we'll do the ricotta mixture. Again, kind of try to get it all over as evenly as possible. I try to make my recipes really easy. I just, I wanted to try this one because I don't know, for some reason I had a taste for vegetable lasagna. Okay, so that's good. And then after that, we'll do the, um, it actually doesn't say to add more spinach. So I'll just leave that. And then it does say uh, to add more mozzarella on top. So I'll do a little bit more of that. I think it doesn't want you to do more spinach because it'll probably burn once it's in the oven. So add more mozzarella. I'm just kind of separating it in the different areas here. Okay, and then it says to spread Parmesan cheese on top. So I have some of that here. I'm going to go ahead and spread that over the top. And then it says to cover with foil. So we'll do that before we put it in the oven. And then I do have to turn the oven back on, but you guys, it's kind of warm out right now in Chicago and I don't want to heat the whole house for that long so cover with foil so we'll do that and then I'm going to preheat the oven now
Okay guys, so here is the finished product. And I would say that took about two hours total time to make. So it says to let it sit for five minutes before serving, so I am going to do that and then I will cut a piece and I'll let you guys know how it is. Okay guys, so I did cut myself a small piece of lasagna here and I tried it and it is really good. Um, obviously it's not authentic Italian lasagna, but for what it is, I think it's really good. And yeah, I'm almost done with mine. And actually, I just didn't want to have a lot because I'm going to a party today at a friend's house. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video of making a veggie lasagna, kind of. It still had meat, but you know, the noodles were zucchini noodles. So if you guys try it, let me know what you think. Enjoy. Thanks again, you guys. Bye.